Welcome to Jump Study Learn YouTube channel. Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your studies. Today's lesson is about reviewing PASI exam question, Summer 2020, Part 1 of 2. Without further ado, let's begin. Question number one. The formula of methane is CH4 and the formula of ethane is C2H6, which row describes diffusion and the relative rates of diffusion of methane and ethane. Refer to chapter particles in motion. Diffusion is a movement of particles from more concentrated to less concentrated. Methane is a molecule are lighter than ethane. Therefore, methane diffuses quickly than ethane. So, the answer for number one, it should be B. Particle move from high concentration to a low concentration and relative rate of diffusion, methane will diffuses more quickly than ethane. Number two, which test is used to show that a sample of water is pure? Testing for pure water, pure water should have a boiling point of 100 Celsius. If we heat a liquid and it begins to boil either below or above 100 Celsius, so the liquid contains impurities. So the answer for these questions would be heat the water to check its boiling point. Number three, chromo chromatography is used to separate and identify the component in both colored and colorless mixtures. For colorless mixtures, the chromatogram has to be treated with another chemical. What is the name of this type of chemical? A locating agent is used to analyze colorless substances in paper chromatography. So it is generally a chemical that reacts with the colorless substances in order to form colorful products that are visible for inspection purposes. So the answer for number three would be locating agent. Number four, lithium reacts with fluorine to form the compound lithium fluoride, which statement about this reaction is correct. Each fluorine atom gains one electron. So the answer for number four will be A. If you see, these two carbon are isotope of carbon. Which statement about this isotope is correct? The reaction of C12-6 are similar to 14-6C because they have the same number of outer shell of electron. If you can see that both carbon have the same number of the outer shell of electron. The molecular structure of hydrazine and 2 h 4 is shown, which description of the bonding in hydrazine is not correct. So in this case, it's actually hydrazine has only two non-bonding pair, one on each end. So the answer which is not correct is each nitrogen atom has four bonding pairs of electron. Solid X has a high boiling point. Its structure has positive ions surrounded by a sea of electron. Which other properties does not the solid X have? The answer will be malleable and an electrical conductor. The formula of some ions are shown. If you see positive ion is Mm, Al3 and negative ion is Cl. Negative this is actually an example to show that the differentiate between positive ion and negative ion. In which row is the formula is correct? So if you see alum, aluminum oxide, so the formula for aluminum oxide will be Al2O3. And iron to nitride will be Fe bracket and O3 close bracket 2. Whereas sodium sulfate would be Na2SO4. 
and Z nitrate would be Zn in bracket NO3 close bracket 2. So the answer for this, which is formula not correct, would be B. The equations for the decomposition of magnesium nitrate is shown. 2Mg bracket NO3 close bracket 2 to form 2Mg0 plus 4NO2 plus O2. Which volume of gas is produced when 0 0.1 mole of magnesium nitrate is decomposed completely? To answer to this question is 2 magnesium and O3 close bracket 2 is equal to 0 0.1 mole. So if we have, that means 2, if we have magnesium itself, Mg and O3 close bracket 2, so you have 0 0.10 divided by 2, so you get 0 0.05 mole. If you see 4 and O2 is equivalent to 4 times 0 0.05, and you get the result 0 0.2 mole of NO2. And it goes well to oxygen, O2. O2 in this case is 0 0.05. So when you total up, you will get the answer for um, oxygen or NO3, NO2 is actually 0 0.2 multiplied by 24, you get a value of 4.8 decimeter width of NO2 will be produced. And if you look at on the oxygen side, there will be 0 0.05 multiplied by 24, you will get about 1.2 decimeter cube of oxygen 2 will be produced. So the final total, the number of gas produced in this question will be 4.8 decimeter cube plus 1.2 decimeter cube. It will give the answer for 6 decimeter cube. So the answer for number 9 would be 6. C. Which statement about the electrolysis of molten lead to bromide are correct? So in this case, cathode gains an electron negatively charged meanwhile and not lose electron positively charged. So, lead ions move to the cathode and are reduced and bromide ions move to the anode are oxidized. So, the answer for this question would be C, 2 and 3. Aquas copper 2 sulfate is electrolyzed using carbon electrode. Which statement is correct? The blue color of aqua copper sulfate solution fades when it is electrolyzed using platinum electrodes because when copper sulfate solution is electrolyzed with copper electrodes, the blue copper ions are discharged at the cathode and get deposited as copper. So the answer for this would be the blue color of the solution fades. Nitrogen, 3 fluoride, and F3 is used in the manufacture of certain type of solar panel. The equation for the formation of nitrogen trifluoride is true. N2 plus 3 F2 to form 2 and F3. So given the type of bond, N equals to N equals to 950 kilo kilojoule mole. F over F, you get 150. And F, bond N and F, you get 280. How to calculate this? Using the table of the bond energy, what is the energy change for this reaction? So the formula for energy change is energy in minus energy out. So you get, in this case, N2. N2 will be 950 plus 3F2. 3F2 in this case will be 3 multiplied by 150 kilojoule, which is bond energy for F dash F. And minus energy out, the minus energy out will be 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by NF. NF in this case, bond energy for NF is 280. So it's equivalent to 1,400 for the energy in 
n minus 1680 for energy out. So the answer for this question would be minus 280 kilojoule per mole. So question number 12, the answer for question number 12 would be B. Which statement about hydrogen fuel cells are correct? The waste product in a hydrogen fuel cells is water and a hydrogen fuel cells is used to generate electricity. So the answer will be two and four. Which change is a physical change? So we know that ice, ice is actually physical and when it changed into the liquid, when it is heated, it means that it does involve a physical change. So the answer will be 14B. A student at SS Magnesium Ribbon to 10 cm cube of 0 0.5 mole decimeter cube sulfuric acid. And the hydrogen gas is collected and its volume measured every 10 seconds. The experiment is repeated using the same mass of Magnesium Ribbon with 5 cm cube of 0 0.5 mole decimeter cube sulfuric acid added to 5 cm cube of water. Which graph show the result of the second experiment? So in this case, number 15, it gives the answer of D. Which have the volume of hydrogen would give the result of 50 and the time taken will be um, around 100 times per second. An equilibrium reaction is shown. N2O4 react to produce 2NO2. And on the other hand, is 2NO to produce N2O4. The forward reaction is endothermic. And what is the effect of changing the temperature and pressure on the equilibrium position? So the answer for this question would be C. When it's increasing temperature, it moves to the right. And when there is increasing in terms of the pressure, it moves to the left. And in which reaction is the underlying compound acting as a reducing agent? So for the question number 17, we give the result of B. X, Y, and Z are outside of element in the same row of the periodic table. Some information about each outside is shown. X is soluble in water. Ability to neutralize an acid, no. And ability to neutralize an alkaline is yes, able. And whereas oxide Y is, in terms of solubility in water, is insoluble. Ability to neutralize an acid is able. And ability to neutralize an alkaline is also able. And uh, oxide Z, in terms of solubility in water, is a slightly soluble. Ability to neutralize an acid would be able. And ability to neutralize an alkaline, not able. So it answer which type of oxide are X, Y, and Z. And for this, X is actually more or less, it shows that this soluble in water and this oxide is under category of acidic. And Y is category of amphoteric, and Z is category of basics. And four different acids are dissolved in water. Which baker contains the most concentrated strong acid solution? If we can see that in this category A, it consists of about six zinc and also six of hydrogen. Okay, which is con uh, contributed to the most concentrated strong acid solution. The following substances can be reacted together to prepare salt. So among the three, which do you think the reactions of two products or items in terms of preparing the salt that produce the salt? So in this case, when the combination of hydro hydrochloric acid and with the excess of zinc carbonate, it will produce uh, so-called the product, the end product is a salt. So in which reaction can the excess reactant be separated from the solution by filtering? 
filtration. So this is salt. We know that it's a salt, and it can be separated by the uh, using the method of filtration. So the answer would be is actually the reaction between hydrochloric acid and essence zinc carbonate. So the answer will be number three. With that being said, I wish all the best in your studies. And not to worry, you can access to the customized note at http www.beacons.ai slash jomstadula or you can access to this link via jomstadula Instagram. So please don't forget to subscribe to jomstadula YouTube channel and follow me at jomstadula Instagram. So with that, that's all for this, uh, this presentation slide and hope to see you later. Thank you.